And welcome back. So we are st we have finished out all of those what ifs. We have finished out the uh, Goku Red Rune Army and the Naruto Nine Tail of the one. Uh, what if no one knew Naruto was the Kyubi or the Jinchuriki of the Kyubi? So you know what that means. It's time to go to our next semi long one. I will do more of it. One more, more than one video on. And more than one person gave me this one, so I figured this would be a nice one to go off of. Uh, Leo Sama and Corey Bauer both asked the question, what if Gohan had gone Super Saiyan against Nappa and Vegeta during the Saiyan arc? So, And it's an interesting concept because Gohan has always been prone to rage, but he just never had the power to basically go Super Saiyan. Uh, essentially, um, well, they just, they are revealed that it is about... Um, that it is about like S cells or something like that. Whatever. I always figured it was like you have to your your power level has to hit around, right around a hundred thousand if you are, um, uh, if you are sane and then that anger trigger. But let us assume that um, um, <laughs> uh, so I'm sorry. It's Smokey and the Bandit's on right now. And I love Smokey and the Bandit. Who does a little Smokey and the Bandit? Um. So, let's assume that Gohan did go Super Saiyan. First off, what's the context and how strong would he have been? So, right around... They, they said that Gohan was right around 1,000. But by the time he goes to Namek, he's right around 1,500. So, 1,500. But remember this also. He took two Zenkai boosts. So, he took an initial Zenkai boost when Goku came back to heal him. And he took another Zenkai boost after he went and ate... So it's probably likely that his power was right around a thousand. Now, what's the trigger for it? Well, obviously the trigger, the most realistic one would be Piccolo, because he had that rage out moment against Nappa uh, initially, where his power like jumped to three thousand or over three thousand, and Nappa nearly like lost his hand. But ultimately, yeah, I think that'd be the trigger. So Gohan would be looking over Piccolo's corpse. You, you know, as you see, that's like Piccolo, no, it's like, yeah. I'm gonna take off your skull. I'm gonna take your head off and burn a cake with your skull. What? I'm gonna skull fuck you. So you know, go on, charge him. But all of a sudden, uh, you know, Vegeta, Vegeta, uh, and Nappa are both like, "What's going on?" And then all of a sudden, they see his eyes start to flash blue. His eyes, his uh, hair start to flash yellow, and then. Yeah, he's a uh, oh, puppy. Sorry, it's, it's Smoky Man. So uh, Goose is a uh, <laughs> no, not Goose. Uh, I can't remember what, exactly what the character's name. And the one with the dog, the Bass it out. Uh, he's a good boy. <laughs> I love dogs. Um, so he go and comes in charge, and his hair. All of a sudden, he's his hair, and he has gone Super Saiyan, the first Super Saiyan over like a couple hundred years at least, or a millennia. Anyway, he charges in, and he just must because he's going, he's smashing the uh, Nappa, and then must say go. Now keep in mind, a thousand times fifty, his power is fifty thousand, which like, he's going full power and blast up, and Nappa's just ash at that point. Nappa does not have the power because Vegeta was able to ash him at a power level around sixteen thousand. So yeah, no, he's he's ashed, and Vegeta gets his scouter and he's like, and it's just going haywire and it hits around fifty thousand. I would imagine Vegeta's scouter could probably handle a power of fifty thousand. Rad's is broke around twenty one thousand because that's where it broke right around Goku's power level. Uh, I would imagine that because they're higher class Saiyans, they probably have a higher class scouter, probably can handle something in the neighborhood of a mm, 80,000, something like that. I mean, even Freeze's updated scouter could only handle so much before it broke. The scouters can't handle anything around Freeze's power. The highest level we ever saw a legitimate red was uh, Goku's power when Ginyu was scanning him uh, at around 180,000. Sorry. Uh, I need to just clarify something right now that it is hot. Uh, I am not tripping balls again, as when someone at it asked me at one point, I was like, nope. Uh, uh, <laughs> hmm. Um, sorry, can't carry it, just messaging me. Anyway, so yeah, it is hot. We got another heat wave going, and I'm sweating. So anyway, Gohan is obliterated Nappa, and I'm dilly dallying in this. I'm going to try to compose myself. Now, at this point, for, uh, Vegeta is now scared shitless. Like, this little boy, and he powers up to his full power, but he knows it's not going to be enough. At this point, also, Gohan doesn't have a tail. Let's keep that in mind. So, you know, Gohan comes in, and he's starting to just beat on Vegeta. Meanwhile, also, he senses his dad. Goku shows up, and, uh, you know, it's a like, Grillin gives Grillin the Senzu Bean. Uh, Gohan's like, Dad! 
dad, it's a dad, and you know he stops beating on Vegeta long enough. Vegeta says, uh, uh, "What happened?" And he's like, "Dad, it's like, go on, whoa!" It's like you know I got stronger, but how did you get so strong? What do you mean? What? And then go on actually realizes that he's different. It's like my pal, whoa, this is weird. And it's like, yeah, I would offer you a sensu bean, but no, I think I still need one. Dad, and he eats a sensu bean and it refreshes him. But it, 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 it should be noted, he doesn't get a Zenkai. One, he's already Super Saiyan. And two, uh, he didn't get a Zenkai until after Nappa kind of beat the crap out of him a little after that, I'd imagine. So, I mean, he's still probably tired, but it's not near death or anything like that. Anyway, uh, Goku uh, Goku's just like, what happened? And then they explain what happens. Like, Goku's just, like, astounded. Meanwhile, Vegeta's just pissed, like, I will show you. You won't do this to me. Ah! And then, yeah, it just turns into, a, I'm going to show you my giant monkey. Transformation. Oh, I thought he meant penis. So, you know, he turns into the uh, Ozaru. Now, at this point, Go, uh, Trunk, uh, Gohan can't do cr dick against him. Uh, 180 versus 50,000. No contest. Gohan can't do dick against him. I mean, Gohan tries and puts up a great a valiant effort. Difference is that we have a Goku who's completely fresh and ready to fight. But Goku also sense that he can't compete against his power, even if you were to crank his Kaioken up to 10. Uh, at least not right now. So instead, is that he asks Goku, can you go, uh, it's like, Gohan, can you keep him uh, occupied for a little while? Uh, and it's like, well, then uh, Krillin, do you think guys think you can, you know, Keep him busy. He's like, we'll try and go on, go on for what's worth. Can at least he can at least distract Vegeta along, and particularly because Vegeta right now has got a set side on this kid who seems to have turned into a Super Saiyan and has um, and who was kicking his ass while ago. So he wants revenge. Meanwhile, Goku's charging a spirit bomb. He's but he's in perfect health too, so it doesn't take as long to do it. And then he just charges a spirit bomb, and then he comes in. Flat, uh, basically blares a Kaioken out to get the speed out, and then just you know, point blank throws this at Vegeta's face, who was just like swatted Gohan away and has buried him in the mountain. And he gets a full brunt spirit bomb, blasting him pretty much point blank. Um, now, does that kill Vegeta? No, because even a weakened Vegeta without his tail was able to survive a immediate, uh, immediately low-powered spirit bomb, but a spirit bomb nonetheless. A full Ozaru ape uh, Vegeta? Yeah, he could probably survive, even if it's full power. But I think he'd still be in the same condition as, say, uh, he was in the original series. Alive, but pretty effed up. Uh, he's still got his tail at this point, too, but he powers back down into his normal form. He gets back up again. It's like, yeah, I, you think you think that's it? You think you could beat me, Kakar, off like that? But he's got a problem here. Goku isn't tired. Goku's pretty fresh, and he's not at, uh, he's not at full uh, uh, peak either. He's not at full capacity either. So now it's Goku versus a weakened Vegeta, and you know, Vegeta probably puts up a solid fight. His power's probably now wavering in like the ten thousand range, which means Goku with an actual Kaioken beats him up, but he still gets a relatively okay fight out of him and beats Vegeta down to a pulp and this time just he he actually tip pulls his tail right off and then Vegeta's now just done he's like all right I, I'm done and you know Krillin's gonna try to kill him but Goku's like nah he's no threat to us anymore and then he goes to see Gohan and Vegeta leaves cut to afterwards it's just uh, now, Goku doesn't have to take the abuse from Chi-Chi now, because, well, same type of abuse, because Chi-Chi, I, no, I don't like Chi-Chi, I don't think there's a lot of, there's a lot of people I know who don't like Chi-Chi. Uh, Chi now, Chi-Chi's wondering what happened, and they explain, and Chi-Chi's now more of my son's a monster, no, Chi-Chi, he's, he's now the strongest warrior on the planet, no, he's a ruffian, he's a bro, it's like, come on, Chi-Chi, he can still be a scholar and all that, but now he's got the power, it's like, mom, seriously, <laughs> Uh, now, power-wise, we'll, we'll put him at that 1,500 marker at the moment, which now means his power fee with Super Saiyan's around 75,000. This also inspires Goku to be like, wow, I wonder if I could do that. Now, I'll always say if Goku sees someone do it, he can normally – I imagine he can normally do it himself. Like, again, if he saw Trunks go Super Saiyan but he hasn't gone Super Saiyan, he'll figure it out eventually. To be fair, though, Gohan doesn't know how he did that. He just knows it happened. So now he's going to be training with his father to uh, basically try to activate that as well as Goku now having someone to really push himself against. Also, Krillin's there too. <laughs> so, yeah. 
Uh, now, there is... There is Popo's ship, or Popo, Kami's ship, and they explained that. Now, uh, I don't know if they would all take the ship. I think they I think they would, and I think what would happen is they would do some minor training going on that ship. Now, there's no gravity training, unfortunately, in this ship, so you're not going to get the same outcome like you did with Goku, who got that immense power-up. But you would still get, I think they would get some light training, and enough that... Gohan would figure out uh, eventually, because a lot of mental training, would, thanks to Goku being there, would eventually figure out how to kind of flip the switch on Super Saiyan a little bit. He'd actually figure out just a tingly back thing, basically. But it'd be something that he still wouldn't be quite used to doing, so it's something he would have to save as a last resort kind of thing. But they would get some training in. They couldn't. They can't do too much training because it would tear the ship apart, and they know this. But they get enough training in that. I would imagine that you could put Krillin and Gohan, respectively, at 2,000 at this point. And I think you could even pump Goku up to around a 9,000. So they get there. Uh, now they're looking for the Dragon Balls. Uh, it goes about the same, but... Well, it doesn't go about the same. The initial, uh, like, them being there is the same. Vegeta shows up, 24,000 is his power level. Uh, Goku also... Yeah. Goku could probably ha has probably been practicing a little bit with a Kaioken. He could probably do the triple without too much strain on his body, but still something that he doesn't want to do if he doesn't have to. Particularly not going past the triple. And King Kai even warns us like, "Your body might be able to handle a triple, but let's not test it, dumbass." It's like, "All right, King Kai." So they go and, like initially, they suppress their powers. They see what's going on on the um, on the ground and. Gohan, can we just see what's happening? And Gohan loses it, and you know Goku even tries to tell him. And Goku sensing Frieza's power level. He's like, this guy, this guy's dwarfing even Gohan's power right now. Holy crap! Just, so we need to, we need to just like Gohan, no, uh, quack, and then they go, and uh, Goku just kind of you know gets out of the, gets them out of there, and they fly, and you know, <clears throat> again, Solar Flare, Gohan, even Dodoria, who was about twenty thousand. Uh, Goku doesn't really want to go up again because he's sensing all the powers on these guys. Like, these guys are going to give me trouble too. It, it, Gohan can probably handle them, but he can't handle that big – he can't handle the guy in the chair. N neither of us can. So they rescue Dende, and Dende tells them about the Elder, and obviously they're not going to go and get their uh, hidden potential unlock. So initially Krillin is uh, – Krillin go well, – actually will still be the one who initially goes – and he will get his um, he gets his potential unlocked, which will be a little bit more than the canon, I believe. I have factored in around an initial eight times, and then it's whatever the individual's true potential is, which will put Krillin surprisingly at around uh, two th around a sixteen thousand. Uh, likewise, uh, likewise, he goes to basically guard Bulma at that point, and Gohan and him then go to see the Grand Elder. Now, they have a Dragon Ball at this point. Well, actually, no, did... Crap, was it? No, yeah, he... No. Who... Krillin was the one who got his power unlocked first. They gave him a Dragon Ball. Why did... Oh, no, 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 I remember now. It's because Gohan had the Dragon Raider. That's why Vegeta ran into him. So they go, and Vegeta, again, they find the Dragon Ball and take it, and now Vegeta's pissed. And he's right... That whole scenario goes the same where he kills the Doria and he kills, um... Zarbon, uh, and his power is still roughly the same, around 30,000 30, at this point. Uh, so then you go and you have Gohan and Goku both go to the Lord Gurus and they both have their inner potential unlocked. Now, Gohan would again be rough. Gohan had a bit of a higher increase, I believe. Actually, no, his overall increase was higher. I know that. But his initial increase was the same, but his, his growth was higher than Krillin's. Um, now, Goku or Gohan would be around sixteen thousand as well initially. Goku, while not being able to go Super Saiyan, would have a much higher increase because it it'd be the same increase but a much higher power. It'd be around eight times nine. It's seventy two. Yes, it'd be around seventy two thousand initially. Now Kaioken wise, uh, he probably at this point could handle the times ten. Um, even though he hasn't practiced it, and he, 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 this would be one of those things he'd integrate himself, with, um, integrate himself with, uh, you know, trying higher grades of Kaioken as he's fighting someone. But let's not forget that their power is also going to increase overall uh, afterwards.
So where they're going to land up, Gohan had a power increase, went from 1,500 to 2,000. My phone's in the other room with the calculator. If I'm trying to remember correctly, that was like a little over 100. It was somewhere in the 100 range. No, yeah, it was a little over 100, math-wise. Um, I've never, I've never personally believed Goku's would be as high as Gohan's because, at least in the DBZ world, uh, but I think it would still be higher than Krillin's, who only had like a 42, uh, times multiplier overall, and that would be, that would actually put Krillin around 84,000 overall, uh, when it's all said and done. Uh, <laughs> uh, so th I would put Goku right around 70,000 when it's going to be all said and done. Uh, uh, so that would mean that a 70,000 times multiplier over on a 9,000, let's see, 90, you're looking at 6, 630,000 is basically the number you're going to look at when his power is all said and done, which is going to be right around, say, the, when Frieza shows up, but we're not there yet. So... Basically, Vegeta comes and uh, basically, you know, counteracts the, and it looks like Goku goes, oh, you think you're so powerful now? Huh, brat? Well, and then Goku just shows up, shows up, and uh, is like, yeah, what about that? And he, he, because he can sense better now, no, realizes that he's over twice as strong as I am, and he's got that weird red multiplier technique thing. Um, crap, and the kid still hasn't gone to his transformed yet. Oh, this isn't good. And then again, you force shows. So I was like, I need your, I need your help. Yes, yes, like that. Um, so they basically inform the truce, and they basically go to get the Dragon Balls. Again, uh, they don't trust each other, but they do it. And then again, you force shows up. However, now we have a scenario where Goku is there. Goku. Now, I don't think any. I don't think they really had much of an increase. I think they probably had like a little increase. So maybe around eighteen thousand for Krillin and maybe 20,000 for Gohan and I don't know what is it 72 is what I said uh let's just say 80,000 for Goku so and Vegeta is still Vegeta is now getting uh, almost outclassed by all of these guys so they show uh, Berter tries to come in and steal the Dragon Ball but Goku actually grabs his fist like, it's like what are you trying to do uh it's like huh <laughs> it's, uh, oh no I'm sorry that was uh Goldo. Goldo takes it, and then Berter takes it, and, but Goku notices, like, hmm, he's fast, but not that fast. And they here, you take care of these guys. Like, you're not going anywhere, and then he powers up. And then they all are catching this on their scouters, like, huh? And they see Goku's power is now hitting around 80,000, and they're both, the, every last one of them, before any of them even, like, tries to do anything, is scared to sh- it's like 80,000, except for Ginyu. Ginyu's Still like, ah, eh, he's pretty strong. But I think I can then go on, decides to step in, throw his hat in the ring. Powers up the Super Saiyan, which added 20,000 times power, a uh, 20,000 uh, uh, power level equals a million. <laughs> That's math, kids. Uh, actually, wait, no, it doesn't. Doesn't it? Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> it's a million. That's math, kids. It's like, you're questioning your math. Are you sure? I'm sure. And that scares the ever-loving piss out of every one of them. And just, oh, it's like, yeah! And then Goku just decides to punt, crank a Kaioken on there. So it feels actually confident he can maybe do at least a five. So he does a five and just, boom! So you now he's flexing his muscle around 400,000, and their scatters are all busted at this point. She's like, oh! It's like, yeah, we're going to take that Dragon Ball back now. It's like, yeah, uh, no, we're getting out of here! Take the Dragon Ball, leave! And then Vegeta just goes and just takes out Goldo. Raccoon goes like, you're not getting away! Goku just, boom! Just the, Or actually just does the knee, just, boom! Burner and Jesse oh, go on, go on and Krillin both tag team. Krillin doesn't can help a little bit, obviously, but he um he ulti they ultimately just take these guys out. Vegeta, but only I think Goldo so far has been killed. Ginyu at this point is just like, uh, it's like yes. he's able. He immediately he quickly takes on Vegeta and starts wailing. But Goku and Gohan just start beating the crap out of him. Now does he get the chance to change bodies? Yes, he does. Unfortunately. I would imagine it might end up being one of those mistakes. He doesn't get Goku, he gets Gohan. And at that point, he doesn't know how to control the power, so his power drops to about 10,000. To which case, it just starts uh, Vegeta now in pain, but overall still functioning. 
uh, it's just like, I'm going to beat the crap out of He starts beating the crap out of Gohan. He's like, all right, change. And then go and then Goku grabs him and changes his body with Ginyu again. And then that's taken care of. And then Vegeta just, bl- Vegeta, Krillin, and they all just kind of blast Ginyu. I don't think they let Ginyu live. However, I think Birder and Jace and Raccoon are still alive. I think Vegeta kills B- Raccoon. Goku stops from killing Jace and Birder. He's like, yeah, go. And you tell your... Tell your boss we're coming for him. And say, uh, and then they go and head to freeze the ship where the other Dragon Balls are. So then they fly off. Uh, and I was like, well, the other Dragon Balls are over there. All right, let's go. And then they meet up with Freeze. I was like, that's them. And then once again, they beat the crap out of them. I think this time, and, free, and Vegeta gets a, uh, a Senzu Bean. And I don't think he takes as big of a Zenkai boost. Uh, meanwhile, but Goku is probably hitting hitting around the two hundred million or two hundred thousand mark, just because of the way the power level things work, or the uh, sorry the uh, just the way that the hidden potential works is kind of a weird exponential thing. Krillin at this point probably is also at his max power around eighty thousand. Gohan is probably hitting around. Hmm, that's a good question. What is Gohan probably hitting around? Uh, he's probably hitting around a hundred thousand himself. His ultimate overall power will probably be somewhere in the neighborhood two hundred and fifty. Vegeta is probably sitting. He probably took a bigger than just like a quarter or one fourth increase. He probably took somewhere in the neighborhood of like a times two or three. So he's probably sitting at a, at a comfortable two a one hundred thousand as well. So he's probably equal to Gohan. Um. If that may be a little less, like maybe 90,000. But Goku currently is sitting around 200,000. Then they're basically trying to get the wish done, and Dende shows up, and they get the wish. They wish first back, they wish, they first wish back Piccolo. They bring Piccolo there, and then Vegeta tries the muscle in for the immortality wish, but that obviously that's not going to work. So the last wish, but they don't get because Guru dies. Nail's been got, got his ass kicked. Frieza shows up, and... Now we have a confrontation. I think I might even be able to crack out the entire Frieza saga in this one video, which I'm happy about. So now Frieza's like, oh, give me some ideas. So as this is going, and remember, there's about an hour span in between that. Um, so ultimately, yeah, Goku's probably hitting near, it has probably reached his max at this point, so 630. Gohan's probably at 250,000. Vegeta, admittedly, I think Vegeta's probably low on the higher end, too. Maybe around, say, 200,000, but I think that's the maxed out. Uh, now, so Goku and uh, Frieza immediately clash, and Goku's uh, beaten on Frieza. Goku's also the better fighter, has always been the better fighter. Go- Frieza was much more of a brawler, not a martial artist. Uh, so the, it, it's pretty one-sided at this point, and then Frieza just reveals, I can, he could transform. It's like, that bastard, and then he transforms, and then he starts to wail on him a bit, but Gohan... Goes Super Saiyan, uh, transforms, which would mean his power would be at 12, yeah, it'd be at 12.5 million, <clears throat> which now starts to wail on free. And unlike Goku, who at least had some level of control, Gohan still has really no control over his rage that much. So I actually think Frieza could, doesn't even get to his final form. Gohan would just wreck his shit before he got to his final form. And eventually, just like when you go, Go on, smash you feminine alien. Go on, strong as there is. And then just blast him into oblivion with a Super Saiyan 12.5 million times Masenko Ha. Well, it's just Masenko, but Masenko Ha. That's what they, how they basically said. Yeah, go on, I think, which is somewhat to Nampa. It's not like he, Gohan feels the need to spare someone like this. He's seen what Frieza does. He does not, he does not think this evil needs to exist in this world. So he basically obliterates Frieza in one fell, fell swoop. And again, Vegeta's just like, ugh. And Piccolo shows up, having fused with Nail, but he's like, oh, well, I uh, I guess you guys didn't need me. Oh, hi, Piccolo. Hey. Uh. Now, before we – they'll get the last wish, I imagine. They'll wish back the people Frieza kill, which brings back Guru. And then they basically – I imagine they would just wish for some sort of level of protection for the planet Namek. I think I think that they would allow the people to, uh, to be fine. Vegeta wouldn't go... I think Vegeta would eventually head to Earth, but I don't think he'd do it initially. I think he'd go out and train on his own for a little bit, uh, taking, one of the, taking one of the pods and going off. They would use Frieza's ship, 
to get back to Earth because remember in the original uh, timeline and even in this timeline, uh, Kami ship got destroyed. So yeah, I think they use um, one of Freeze's ship and they head back to Earth and Bulma would just be like, ah, technology, <laughs> just the technology I drool. Um, so now before we go, I think Gohan would be a, a Gohan. I think Gohoku would be evaluating his son's temperament a bit because he remembers being told by Krillin that Gohan obliterated Nappa on Earth and now he just witnessed him obliterate Frieza completely. Uh, so now he's – I would imagine he's starting to have a little concern for his kid at this point. It's like Gohan's going to need to temper there. Otherwise, there might be a day where he could actually be um, – you know, he might actually become a danger. I don't believe that, my son, but I, I'm going to have to have a talk with him and talk with Chi-Chi. Like, Gohan, Goku's actually be, I'd imagine Goku would actually be a parent in that moment and be like, wow, I'm, I'm going to have to do something about this. But we'll, figure, but we'll figure out what that something is next time. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, who wants to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. If you have ideas for who would win, Star Wars, Super Magic, what if, anything I do on this channel, put that in the comments below as well. I'll get to it at some point. So tomorrow, I'll have at least a minor magic video up. I believe PAX West. Let me actually double check that real quick. PAX West. Because PAX West is starting this weekend. I don't know if it's starting tomorrow that they'll have some their magic events tomorrow. Um, no, it's starting Friday. Darn. We might get something tomorrow, but right now it's uh, it's starting on Friday, which is fine. I got the weekend to cover shit, so that's good too. Uh, but the, then you'll get the Ravnica spoilers actually starting on Monday next week, which I don't know if I have Labor Day off. I'll have to check that. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.